Oh, Marcelo, Marci, Marci, Marcelo. Uh, the love that the supports of Chef United has for me, I, I did not have any, anywhere. Because I know that I did very well. In seven months to score 20 goals, I knew that I'm going to score. Every game that I was playing, I'm going to score. And it was unbelievable because we are losing 2 new, And the last 20 minutes, the supporters was singing for 20 minutes the song. And I was like, like that, saying, please stop singing because we, we are losing the game. But you know, uh, <laughs> for me, it was fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. It was always seen. It was the first time that I, I, you know, I listened to the, the, the song. Uh, and it uh, was, was incredible. This is the Chef United Way podcast. Time to give a big Chef United Way welcome to a former Blades striker from Brazil via Portugal. It is Marcelo dos Santos Cipriano. Welcome to the channel. How are you? Hi. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be talking with you and uh, can uh, remember you know, a lot of good memories uh, from my time uh, in the Blades. Yeah. We might start backwards and talk about that because you're remembered for a number of great goals for Sheffield United, but you are remembered for that goal in the 1997-1998 season away at Coventry in the FA Cup final where you scored, you took your Sheffield United shirt off and you had another shirt on underneath. What do you remember about that game, that goal and that celebration? Yeah, it was a fantastic goal because, you know, well, it was my, my first time that I tried that. And uh, I think I was with the, uh, I was very confident that uh, I used score in that game. I, you know, Chef United was, you know, going for a, a very turbulent uh, uh, time, you know, with a lot of changes, uh, players being sold. The situation, you know, financially was not very clear, was not very easy in that time. And then we have, of course, a, a very big game against Covert. Covert was a Premier League club in, in that time with good players. Uh, and, uh, you know, the atmosphere of, was fantastic. They they, uh, they scored the 1-0. It was a penalty. I think it was uh, the, the guy, the striker. Uh, Dion Dublin. Dion Dublin. Exactly. But Dion Dublin, in this, in this game, he plays a central center back. That's right. You know? And he tried to, you know, in my goal, uh, you know, I received the ball. Uh, my first touch was not very good, and Dion uh, Dobby tried to with uh, you know uh, tackle, but yeah. um, you know I take the ball and uh, I, I, I strike. You know, was and it was fantastic goal you know, because I, I I run to the to the Chef United supporters and I you know take my shirt because of course I knew that I have another one and I tried to do it. You know and. Uh, I think that the people there, a few people in the club and the supporters still remember this this goal. Oh yeah, of course we do. Yeah, we've we've been speaking about it before, haven't we, Hal? And, yeah, we uh, love it. We just want to know, first of all, what gave you the idea to do that, and secondly, why did you do that? You know, I, the idea I think in that time, Rivaldo, Rivaldo at Coruña, he did that maybe two or three weeks ago, and uh, I was thinking. Why not to to do it in, in in a big game, you know, like like that? Uh, and because I was I was confident that uh, I was scoring this because I was in, in a good in, in a good form. So uh, you know, uh, I put with nobody nobody in the dressing room knew about that, you know, because I take the two shirts and uh, <laughs> and uh, you know happened and it was a you know a very good moment for me and for the club. Is, is that the first time you ever did that then? And yes. is that the last okay. time you ever did that? No, yeah, my first time and my last time. Yeah, oh, I love it. Oh, I love feel it. really special yeah. now. It's the only, the only, only time that I, I did this celebration. Yeah, I think a lot of people, you know, late supporters still remember, still, you know, when I sometimes when I go to 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 England and uh, you know I speak with people there, uh, they still. Remember this goal you now in the in the Facebook and Instagram, you know. So this goal, uh, this goal, and uh, another one, you know, against Arsenal in Highbury, you know, was another goal in in a, in a mythic game, you know, game that we, 
we have a, a big possibility, a big chance to, to go forward, but because of this uh, situation at the end of the game, we have mm -hmm. to, you know, to, to, to play again. So um, yeah, that was strange as well. I mean, we've, we've yeah. spoken about that game on this channel so many times, we probably <laughs> won't cover it in great detail today. But what we will do is we'll go back to the beginning and then we'll circle back to the Blades because you were born in Brazil but moved to Portugal. Now that, I think I'm right in saying, is the home of your parents and you went there as a teenager. But how yeah. do you go from being born in Brazil, moving to Portugal, and then becoming a professional footballer? Yeah, uh, my, 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 my parents uh, are Portuguese, you know, so they are immigrants. So they, um, in the 60s, they, they went to, to Brazil to work there. So me and my, my brother and two sisters, we were born there in Brazil. Uh, and because of the, you know, the, and we I'm born in, in Rio. Uh, and because of the, the criminal situation of the country in that time, you know, still, still bad nowadays. But in that time, it was, it was very, very hard. My, my parents decided to, to return to Portugal. Uh, I was 12 years old. So I started, you know, playing football with 14. Uh, but you know, of course, I have always uh, you know a dream to to be a, a professional player. Uh, I have always a dream to to be a, a Benfica player because uh, my my all my family are Benfica supporters, and uh, I was uh, a teenager. I was a Benfica supporter also. So uh, you know, uh, step by step, I was was uh, getting into my in my my dreams. You know, but. Uh, it's funny because I have a, a possibility to, to play in Benfica when I was under 19, uh, but I decided to play in Academica because of my, my degree, you know, uh, I went to, to university, so uh, I could go to Lisbon University, but I decided to, to go to Coimbra University to, you know, to, to study in the, in the university, in the, my degree, and play in football in under 19. So um, by three, four years, I was doing in the you know, same time, you know, going to university and playing for Academica in second division. After, after four years, I decided, you know, now it's time to, you know, to put uh, on, on the side the, the, the academy, academy um, situation and uh, I'd be, uh, you know, totally focused on my, um, my football side, you know. So after that, you know, the, the, the things was going well. And uh, I signed Benfica in 1995. And so, what would you say was your highlight for for yourself playing in Portugal? Yeah, uh, well, I think it was in this in this season. Yeah, my, I was the top of my career. I was in in uh, in Benfica. Uh, I played um, UEFA UEFA Cup. I scored in UEFA Cup also. In one season, I scored 14 goals for Benfica. Uh, but you know, but the, Benfica was in 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 a hard situation also. Uh, and um, they changed the coach, uh, I'm a Brazilian coach, and um, I decided to, 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 to leave because uh, I was expecting don't have a lot of, of time to on the start 11. So it's come uh, Deportivo La Vez, and uh, I was transferred from Benfica to, to Deportivo La Vez with a big project. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's when you went to Spain, you played for Alaves, and then how did the move in 1997 from Alaves to England actually come about? Because I don't think Sheffield United often signed players from Alaves. Yeah, it was, uh, was funny because, you know, uh, my season in Alaves was too bad. Very bad, you know, very, very bad. I have uh, some uh, injuries on my back and uh, I lost a lot. I lost all the preseason. Uh, you know, I was, you know, playing three games and being one month uh, out. So it was very hard, very hard for me. Uh, you know, I was the big transfer of the season. I come from Benfica, a lot of money they paid to Benfica. Uh, you know, the best contract there. Uh, and uh, the season was bad for me, it was bad for the club. And um, at the end of the season, you know, I decided to to, to move. And uh, I spoke with the uh, with president, president, you know, for all of this. Uh, decide, you know, that if come a possibility to to move, uh, will be the the best for for everybody. So uh, come a possibility of Sheffield United to go on trial, and I have no problem at all to 
to go try because you know and it was fun you know a lot of things uh, uh, happen uh, because the, the the manager was Nick Spackman uh, and when I come to to England I remember that uh, when I put my 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 foot on the on the airport was in the day of the funeral of Diana the princess Diana you know oh, yeah. so uh, in and in in this week stop the, the league you know and I was coming to Sheffield and night department was going uh, four or five days on holiday to to Ogarf. and I said come on I'm coming to 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 training and, and the manager was not here so uh, I trained one week without manager the second week uh, I did uh, a game um, a reserve game uh, and the, we won we won uh, two zero and I scored the two goals so I was thinking, you know, the, the, the week was very good for me. And I said, okay, I'm going to sign the contract. So, uh, and uh, Sparkman and the, the board, in the, that time it was Charles Green, the, the director, say, no, Marcel, you're training another week. You have another uh, reserve game against Lincoln. And uh, after that, we, we say yes or no. So uh, I did, you know, one week training. And then against Lincoln and the reserve game, we won for for one and uh, did a uh, score a hat trick. So I uh, said, okay, now well, you didn't get have, full. They have to sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, so, brilliant! That's a that's a great story. Also, did you did you, did you know anything about Sheffield United before coming to England? You know, mm, not, not did you much. say no? Yeah, what? Uh, of course, I, I knew that it was a, was a massive club. You know. Of course, uh, the championship, uh, you know, uh, is a club that was in, in Premier League uh, many years ago, uh, what, with a good project, and uh, you know, it was for me it was it was a surprise because I, I'll, I'll see, you know, okay, I come to Sheffield United because they need a striker, but when I arrived there, you know, was a lot of strikers, you know, with the quality of uh, Brandin was um, Fjortov was um Kachiro. was peter cachorro that's my big friend peter um peter cachorro was uh is a big guy that come from manchester city Gareth taylor Gareth taylor exactly uh and another another two you know uh, is andy walker had he gone by that point or was he still there yeah, still andy walker, exactly andy yeah. walker yeah you know a lot of strikers in, in the quality strikers you know so for me it was a surprise no, you know they don't need strikers. So, uh, but you know they they, they decided to to send me, and uh, I think was was very good, very good for me for sure. It was uh, fantastic. I have fantastic two two seasons and a half there, and uh, you know I have uh, top memories. You know, brilliant. Of course, they were going to sign you. You're Marcelo at the end of the day. <laughs> I was um, just thinking as well, Nick, wasn't it that Dean Saunders would then be... Uh, yeah, Dean the Saunders come after. You know, Dean Saunders come after, yeah. yeah incredible, yeah. the amount of, of quality yeah. strikers. that We've just and, listed seven and, and, that could all be top goal scorer. Yeah, it's true. And, and the funny thing is uh, um, Dean Saunders and Brian Dean, after, you know, they, they was transferred from Sheffield United to Benfica, you know. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Was, of course, absolutely. Uh, is, um, you know, it's funny, yeah, funny in fact. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Um, do you remember your full debut for the Blades? Yes, of course. Yes, yes. Who was, was, who was against, it against, and what happened? Was, uh, was against uh, Queens Park Hunters. Yeah, and um, yeah, and that, that time we just have can use you know two 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 or three subs uh, on the bench, mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, we are draw one one. I come as a sub. And there was a, a cross from the left side and a, a header to the top corner. So it was, man, it was a fantastic debut. Fantastic. But, you know, in this, this game, I think we draw 2-2 two -two after uh, KPR scored a goal. So, but, you know, still uh, a good debut, yeah, for sure. I was definitely at that game. And... <laughs> <laughs> you I want to say, I want to say. By the way, too. Marcel, let me tell you this. Hal says that about every. Si oh, definitely at that game. I was definitely. I've definitely <laughs> met that person. I usually. Yeah, talking about the ninety-seven, huh? Ninety-seven. 
Yeah, my dad will be watching this saying we were definitely there. He'll remember it better than me. But uh, yeah, I haven't actually met Marcelo. That's the what's the one I player can't, that I can't believe me. you've not met Marcelo yet. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> oh, this is the closest, the closest we'll have to deal with this. But uh, what was your favourite Sheffield United game that you played in, Marcelo? Yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult to to say. You know, I think I, I have a, a season with uh, Steve Bruce. This season uh, with the the game against. Arsenal in the FA Cup, you know, I score uh, maybe 21, 22 goals in, uh, you know, in uh, seven months, something like that, you know. So um, uh, I think I score a hat trick. I cannot remember which which game, but uh, I think I think the, the 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 game that I have big memories is the covered game for sure, mm. the game against Arsenal. Uh, and in the game against Arsenal, the, the, the supporters start chanting uh, or singing uh, my my music. You know, uh, was fantastic the atmosphere. Was eight thousand people there uh, behind the goal of David Seaman uh, when I scored the, the goal. Um, and another another game, fantastic atmosphere was the FA Cup against Newcastle uh, in Old Trafford. We lost one zero. It was the Alan Shearer goal. Uh, and I could I could score I could score a header you know was very was near the post you know uh, but I think these three games are, are games that still today you know I remember uh, with uh, with a smile you know absolutely you scored goals with your head with your feet you were the all round uh, striker for me but. Um... In the dressing room, what Sheffield United players were your friends? Yeah, no, I have uh, you know a very good relationship with everybody there. Uh, when when I arrived, you know, Brandon was uh, was a big fan, uh, was a guy that helped me a lot. I start doing some um, uh, gym work with him, a guy that is a is a, a fitness coach that was doing some work with uh, the rugby club in Sheffield. I think it was the Don Valley uh, Stadium. Yeah, that's right. I, I think my, my memory is not is good not memory. Bad. Yeah, I talked about twenty five years ago, almost <laughs> almost twenty five. It's so not Brandon even there was, anymore, either, Marcelo. It's not even there anymore. It's been knocked down. Yeah, I don't know. I think yeah. that uh, this stadium is near the middle hall shopping center. No? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows. He knows. He remembers his time <laughs> in Sheffield well. Yeah. It's a good sign. It's a sign that was very happy in this. In this yeah. time, and for sure, and uh, you know, with the brand when uh, when I arrived, and uh, with the Peter Cachorro, you know, still today I, I have contact with Peter uh, a lot of times that we we speak. You know, I, I, I met with him in China. He was working there in a club in China. I put one one player there in this club. It was Shisha Huan. Um, you know, but my my relationship with with the, the you know. Everybody there in the club was was fantastic. Not just with the, the players, with the staff, you know, the, all the the coaches, uh, the people that works on the on the on the office. So uh, you know, and uh, uh, my relationship with everybody was good. Was very good. And uh, you know, I was um, after you know, what happened there. Uh, uh, I would like to 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 stay there. You know, I don't know if my move to Birmingham City was the best move, uh, but uh, you know, I think the, the the club was was needing some money also in that time, and uh, come this 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 possibility, and uh, you know, the things happen. You know, it's true. We definitely didn't want you to leave. Uh, we'll get to that. I do want to know though, because we haven't spoken to many players about him, but. What was Steve Thompson, who was your manager for a period of time? What was Steve like to work under? You know, Steve, yeah, was um, was a guy that um, put a lot of passion, passion in his in his job, you know, and uh, and he always have you know a good relationship with all the players. So, uh, in, in terms of spirit of the players, the spirit of the team, you know, he. Even in, in, a, in a very difficult situation for uh, for the club, he could um, you know put all the all the people together and uh, working hard for for uh, 
for 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 the win for to to win the, the games. You know, I think this this was the the best quality of of Steve. You know, the best quality for sure. Mm. And, and moving on from Steve slightly to uh, the next manager, Steve Bruce. We've we've touched on him a second there, but uh, what what were your memories of Steve Bruce and and him as a manager? Because he'd only just started his managerial career at that point at Sheffield United. Yeah, so Steve when when came to Sheffield United, he was uh, player manager. Uh, I think starting like that after yeah. two three months, we you know finished his career as a player. And just you know, work as a manager. Uh, you know, Steve was was a different uh, uh, different personality. You know, so uh, more with the impact on the players because of his experience as as a, as a former player, as a big big player of Manchester United. Uh, he knew uh, about football uh, tactics. Uh, and uh, and was very straight and uh, and uh, direct with uh, what he wants, you know, not with with cubes. Uh, was very straight. So um, in my first time with Steve, I was you know playing like that, you know, sometimes playing, sometimes on the bench. Uh, but I think at, uh, after three four months, I, you know, I, I started scoring goals and I was like, uh, you know. Very important on the on the on the team, and I, I think well, I scored in six seven months. I scored twenty goals, you know, in league cups. Uh, so um, I was on fire. Yeah, I was on fire <laughs> this in this season. Yeah, you've got a very good game to goal ratio for Sheffield United, and uh, now it's time to talk about the hard thing for me and Hal because you left to go to Birmingham City. How did that come about? And uh, yeah, we just we didn't want you to leave. Yes, you know my 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 contract was was coming to an end. I just have another this season, that season, and uh, you know to be honest, after the season that I, I did at Sheffield United, I was expecting something you know better, bigger. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. and uh, even uh, if uh, if come uh, uh, was a possibility of Coventry. No, sorry, not Coventry. It was um, Leicester. Leicester uh-huh. uh, the possibility to, to, to sign me with the, uh, the Irish um, manager. Martin O'Neill. Martin O'Neill, exactly. It was Martin O'Neill? Yeah, Martin O'Neill. Yeah. Martin O'Neill wanted to sign me, but I don't know what's happened. Uh, in that time, I don't have uh, any agent, you know. I was just, you know, with some uh, people come from the from the office and uh, the people of um, Leicester was trying to, to to know how is your situation uh, but you know nothing nothing happened and after you know, came the possibility of uh, Birmingham City uh, with, a, with of course a much better contract um, that I have uh, I think that time was more than the double that I have in Sheffield United uh, wow. I was you know waiting for um, our offer you know, a good offer because I think I deserved because I was I was doing well, uh, but you know, there was nothing nothing coming, and uh, and all the parts decide to 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 do the transfer. That sounds exactly like Sheffield United, just not at that time, not rewarding. Yeah, yeah, at that time, at that time, yeah, not yeah. rewarding somebody who was so so good for us and ended up leaving. I reckon there's probably a lot more uh, footballers that we had in a similar situation as you. That left because of that reason, and and well, you deserved probably, it. You absolutely did deserve it. Probably other players that went to the same club because David Holdsworth David would end Holdsworth. up going yes, to Birmingham. Exactly. Yeah. David was um, maybe one month be- before. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, before me was one month or two months before me. Yeah, and then Curtis Woodhouse as well. He I, would join yes, you. So actually, let's ask you that question: What's Curtis Woodhouse like? <laughs> <laughs> you know, for me, it was a big surprise. Uh, you know. Knowing that he was like a boxer after, uh, you know, uh, some some years after, uh, you know, he did not finish the, the career as a as a player. You know, when he was 26, 27. He decided to to start as a, a boxer and uh, you know with a, a lot of quality. You know, was was a funny funny guy. Uh, I remember I remember that um, when I come to Sheffield United, Curtis was on the under 19. I was like, uh, and. Uh, it was him who, who uh, you know, was cleaning my boots, you know, 
and uh, I was I was uh, on a lot of time I was um, uh, playing with, with him, you know, like um, joking with him, saying, uh, "Come on, Curtis, you are before you know, two three years ago you are cleaning my boots." And now, now you clean my boots because I give me, give to you some good passes and good assists. That's <laughs> okay, no problem. If you give us another assist, I clean your boots at the end of the game, no problem at all. So, was a, a very, very good guy, a nice guy. And, uh, you know, after that, uh, we played together in, in Birmingham City and uh, with, uh, with, with good results also. Well, I'm going to get back on track a second, but I'm just looking. At the 1998-1999 Sheffield United squad, there's a lot of players in there that went on to have really, really good careers. There's some that you perhaps wouldn't have thought would go on to be as successful as they perhaps were. I'm just going to say some names to you, and I want you to tell me what you remember about these players and if you thought at the time that they would go on to achieve as much as they did. And I'll start with... Trianos Delas. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> because still today, I have contact with, with, with the try, you know. Uh, yeah, I, of course not. Of course not. Of course not. And uh, I said to him that, you know, because try, uh, Trianos Delas was, was uh, many times he was playing as a uh, defense midfielder, you know, yeah. at Sheffield United. And, uh, you know, uh, after he left uh, Sheffield United, because he has no space to play in Sheffield United. We have to be uh, clear about that. He was not transferred because he did a, a great season. No, he left the Sheffield United because he has no space to play there. And I know that he came back to, to Greece. And uh, after you know, some years, he was in, in Italy and playing for uh, Roma and uh, winning the European Championship with Greece. You know, fantastic. Fantastic. Amazing. Fantastic. Amazing. No, still a very nice guy, very nice guy, my friend. So I have also this, these guys from Greece, you know, Trajan uh, Delas, right? Was uh, Borbokis. Uh, oh. Yeah, oh. A big fan of mine. Yeah, Borbokis was yeah, a big fan of mine. So um, we have a good, good, uh, good, good uh, squad there with good guys. Very we'll good talk guy. later about tapping up your phone book for, uh, <laughs> for <laughs> some of those. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you also played for Walsall and then went back to Portugal. So tell us, Marcelo, what are you doing now? You know, when I come back to Portugal, I come back to, to the same club when I start my, my career, you know, Academic at Coimbra. Academic was in, in Super League, like the uh, first division. Um, Super League is the top division in Portugal. Mm -hmm. Uh, they offered me, you know, three years contract. I was 33 years old, so I decided to come back. Uh, and I was thinking, you know, after football, you know. Uh, so my, my idea is to finish my career, finish my, my degree in, in civil engineer. I, I finished, uh, you know, already one year after I finished my career. But, you know, uh, I, I decided to, to, to be involved in football because my, you know, I love football. Uh, you know, I, I think football gives me a lot, a lot. Uh, build me as a, as a man, uh, as, a, as a person, and uh, it's my, my passion. Uh, so I decided to be involved in football, not, um, not um, as a coach, because I, I did my, my first degree as a coach, a coach when I was a Sheffield United uh, player. All right. I did it in Barnsley yeah, because in Barnsley it was the PFA first degree, first course, you know, first level. So uh, I did there. Uh, in the, this course was three, four months in, in Barnsley. Uh, but, you know, I, I decided not to to be a coach and I decided to be a, a player's agent. So, um, you know, I, 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 in the time that I started as an as a agent, was still uh, the FIFA FIFA agent uh, license, so I take the license in uh, 2006. 2006. So um, from from that time until now, you know, I'm doing you know I did a lot of transfers. Um, some players that uh, I represent with 18 years old already finished the career. So uh, yeah, I think some, I'm, I'm some doing big well. names. Can, can you give us any names? You know, um, now in, in England, you know, Fabio Vieira. Fabio Vieira was my player for six years. 
I help him to to be a Porto first team player. So eight nine months ago, um, or nine months before he signed with Arsenal, he signed with uh, with Jorge Mendes. Now Jorge Mendes is his, his agent, uh, but uh, I think he he knows all the the work and all the help that I, I gave to him. I, I pass to him all the experience that I have as a player, and I think. Uh, I did a very good job with, with with Fabio, and I hope that he can do very well in Arsenal and can be successful in, in England. Mm. So, uh, going back to your football career for a second, but where where did you enjoy playing your football the most? You know, um, in, in Benfica, I did not. Yeah, in Benfica, I did not <laughs> enjoy a lot. No, but it's true. Uh, um, I think my 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 if if I say one season that was a top season for me. Was in Sheffield United. I think the, I, uh, the 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 love that the supports of Sheffield United has to me, I, I did not have in, anywhere, nowhere or oh, nowhere. Nice. No, no, and nowhere because you know because I know that I did very well. You know I, what I said before: in seven months to score uh, twenty goals, you know it's, uh, I was on fire. I was scoring. I knew that I'm gonna score every game that I was playing. I'm gonna score. And uh, this built like a, a very a, a link, uh, a very strong link between me and, and the supporters. You know, uh, of course, the Benfica was a big pressure, uh, and uh, I did not have this uh, this uh, this link. Even in Birmingham City, I think we, we, in Birmingham City, I have good moments for sure, good moments, uh, but uh, but never uh, with so so high. Uh, in performance like I have in, in Sheffield United. I think my my best season uh, was was in Sheffield United. I have another one before I signed with Benfica in Tricense, in a medium club in Portugal, in Super League. When I, I finished the season, was the third best goal scorer of the league. And, uh, you know, uh, but it's a very small club, you know, a club with... You know the crowd, the average crowd crowd there was four or five thousand. Not nothing compared with with Sheffield United. Mm. So um, I think my best season in a, in a big club, in a very big club, it was in Sheffield United for sure. Love that. Absolutely love hearing that. The best Marcelo to come out of Brazil. Thank you so much for joining mm. us. We really appreciate your time. You're welcome. Yeah, it was a pleasure for me. It's always a, pr a pleasure to to remember, you know, moments that will be for for life.